In accordance with international declarations and shared principles, having sea access is the right of every sovereign country. Thus, Ethiopia and Somaliland have signed a memorandum of understanding to share sea access. In connection of the signed memorandum of understanding, some countries are politicizing against international principles. Talking to BBC English, Africa's political analyst Lawrence Freeman said Ethiopia's move to have sea access can improve the living standard in the Horn region. Somaliland and Somalia would both benefit economically. And in fact, the whole region would benefit because Ethiopia is not talking about discontinuing its use of Djibouti as its only port. It's just reducing the traffic through there because it's extraordinarily expensive and drains the foreign exchange of Ethiopia. But it's in the benefit of Somalia. It's in the benefit of Somalia land, obviously. It's in benefit of the whole region. If Ethiopia has a long-term agreement, then they're going to make investments in infrastructure and transportation to that port, modernize that port, and all of the Africans in the region benefit from increased trade, increased tonnage, increased commerce, increased jobs. Finding alternative sea access is playing a paramount importance to speed up the ongoing socioeconomic development in Ethiopia, free minor market. According to Freeman, finding alternative sea access can also mesmerize effective regional integration among East African countries in the future. Now, this would be furthering regional economic integration because what you would have is the largest country, which you might call the economic powerhouse, also population wide. It's a, it's a dominant country in the region, the largest economy, the largest population. If that population continues to expand, which it will, then you have to produce more material wealth. You have to bring more electricity. You have to improve the roads. You have to bring in high-speed rail connections, the high-speed rail lines. You have to produce more physical products. All of this trade is going to go through the coastline. The political analyst pointed out that the mega project is constructed by Ethiopia bear fruits for other African countries, and the same is true to find sea access for other countries. The question of regional economic integration has already begun. It's begun with the uh, Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam, which is now selling electricity to several nations in the region, including Djibouti, Sudan, Kenya. So the regional integration is moving forward. Free minds trusted other African countries need to focus to utilize possible ways how to solidify real partnership to eradicate poverty, backwardness and other hardships.